West Side. It's big bread governor. Hotter than the oven, so my 40 cows, my gal. And yes, I'm loving her. Always shoving slugs. Music records like that, Mr. Davis, is present. Thank you. We will continue to ask for a no bail setting because we believe under Nevada law and the evidence in this case that the proof is evident and the presumption is great that he will be convicted of first degree murder and that allows us to ask for a no bail setting. Well, he's no different than any other defendant. I mean, we had a feeling this day was coming in the recent uh, history based upon some of the events that have occurred in the last few years and few months proceed. So I like to look at a person who's being charged with a crime in such a high profile case. I like to look at their mannerisms. I like to look at their demeanor. I like to listen to them and kind of get a feel for their attitude. Well, it's a, a cold case. It's been uh, lingering for 27 years, but uh, I felt there was sufficient legally admissible evidence to move forward. That's why we presented it to a grand jury. The grand jury agreed that there was probable cause to return an indictment. But this case is like no other case. In a court of law, we have to present, uh, present sufficient legal evidence to hopefully prove uh, his guilt beyond a reasonable doubt. Um, any case that's 27 years old sometimes uh, presents some challenges, but we feel very confident that the criminal justice system will work in this case. What's popping, Gov Gang? I'm back at this shit, you feel me? Back on this YouTube. I know it's been a minute. My bad, you know what I mean? Y'all been waiting for content. Feel me? Or y'all forgot about your boy? I understand it's been a long time. You know, I've been gone, but you know, life circumstances. I ain't gonna kick no whole long ass speech about this shit, man. I'm back now. We're gonna have more content coming for you, way more faster, way more consistent. Man, don't even sweat that. But you know what really brought me back in this shit is, uh, I guess you would say this Keefe D shit. Because not so much as what everybody already talked about, but now you got certain YouTubers and they just trying to say Diddy got arrested with no facts. They just don't like Diddy. Like, everybody know everything about what Diddy, you feel me, and how they opinions about Diddy. But what that got to do with him getting arrested? Like, yeah, Diddy this, Diddy that, but did he get ready or not? Stop trying to cap and sit up here and just do clickbait, man. You feel me? Then get mad when somebody get in your comments and be like, hey, bro, that, that ain't happening. <laughs> you like, oh, oh, I'll fuck you, bro. <laughs> Cause they telling you that this shit didn't happen you know what i'm saying like what you want bro like some of these youtubers man they they real uh you know what i'm saying hos man i'm gonna just have to keep it like that bro because uh I, I i i was rocking with a few of them you feel me sub to them but you know they kind of entertaining and stuff but then when you know when the first chance you get to act like a hoe and you do that you feel me it's like Come on, bruh. You feel me? What you want? You feel me? But, you know, you rocking with your boy, man. We back at this shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to have more videos on law coming up. And as you seen in the video early, Keefe D had that first court appearance. You know what I mean? He looked he looked smooth. Like, he looked like he wasn't really tripping. And I don't know if that was the, I'm, I'm gangster. So I, I got a little bit of coin and I could I could sit down for a minute and look of being cool. Or if that was the, I'm finna beat this cool, you know what I'm saying, type look. Or if that was the, I ain't tripping because I'm finna rat and snitch type. You know what I'm talking about? So, they, he, I don't know. He may, he may flip on Puff, you know. And things may happen with Puff. You feel me? I'm not saying that, I, that uh, he not gonna get arrested or whatever, but as of right now, he has not been arrested. These cap-ass YouTubers, man, you know what I'm saying? With these clickbait videos, that's why I'm coming back, man, because at least I'm gonna keep it real with y'all, you know what I'm saying? And that's what a good attorney should do, you know? And then, you know, I had niggas subbing in certain videos when I was coming with these gov videos last year, talking about, you're not a lawyer, you like, I had a lawyer tell me that, you know what I'm saying? And I beat my own cases, I won my own settlements, then pay a lawyer one dime, you know what I'm saying? And I ain't got to show all my accolades. You can go back to some of my 
first videos on how to represent yourself in court, and that'll show you that. Like, that's light work. I still got a case going, you know what I'm saying, against my old HOA, and I'm, I filed that, man, 2022, you know what I'm saying? So we, we some years in that right now. You know what I mean? I, at last, I think I spoke to y'all, I had the, the Fed case against Avis, I couldn't, I couldn't keep that one going, man. They, they had some good top-notch attorneys. It was in federal court way in Louisiana. I'm way out here. I, I got in over my head on that one. But, I, you know, I felt like I needed to get justice for what they did. They wiggled out of it by basically, you know, they saying I couldn't prove that it was racist. So, you know, they dismissed that thing. I, had, I pushed them pretty far, though, so I know they had to come off a good coin because they had some good lawyers against me, but... Yeah, that one was, that was for five mil, man. You know, y'all be seeing me on way better terms than if I would've hit on that one. But it is what it is. I'm still in this one though. And uh, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna shake them for what it worth. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna put the work in this out here in Vegas. They did some shady shit with one of my old properties. So we gonna, we gonna get into all that. We, I'm gonna drop more videos. I got one more. I got the, uh, the Dead Beat Baby Mama's video coming in the court system and how it affects you. I've I been had that video, I just ain't dropped it. You know, just got other stuff going on. Gotta get really situated, you know what I'm saying? To live that dub life, you know what I'm saying? Gotta have everything in order. And for me to give y'all the best content, I gotta have myself all the way right so I can really focus and hone in and give y'all what y'all need. Not just be making videos just to get clicks or just hear something, hear a rumor and run with it or gossip. You know what I'm saying? Like the females doing the, in the hair salons. You know what I'm saying? I ain't never, on YouTube, I ain't never seen so many grown ass men gossiping. Like, you know, it was a uh, YouTuber. I ain't gonna say his name. He gonna know what I'm talking about him because he was one of the only ones that jumped out the window and said Puff got raided and arrested and did a whole live and tried to act like that. And then when everybody confronted him, Telling him it wasn't it wasn't true. Then he want to get mad at the people telling him that. Then he want to well, all this is allegedly. Now it's allegedly. You know what I'm saying? But you got mad instead of just being a real one to be like, you know what, my 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 subs that was in the comments like, yeah, bro, that shit ain't happen. Y'all wasn't trying to be funny, man. Y'all wasn't defending Puff. Y'all was, you know what I'm saying, just trying to lace like, hey, bro, that ain't that's cap. We because I seen that same video you was reacting to. I seen it the day before and then I knew it was Cap. It was a dude doing a voiceover just trying to get clicks. Cause if you, all you gotta do is Google it. Man, that, you think that ain't break? Nina Point, you think you the first one that's going, oh, we just gonna say your name, fuck it. I couldn't hold it in. Nina Boy, you think you was gonna be the one to have breaking news on Puff getting rated in? Bro, TMZ would have been beat you to that. CNN, Fox, they waiting on that story. What you mean? Nina Boy, you was gonna break that? Like, bruh, then you want to get mad because a nigga in the comments trying to tell you, like, bruh, Puff ain't getting rated. Now, nah, nigga sticking up for Puff. Nah, we just saying, nigga, the nigga didn't get rated, nigga. You you don't like the nigga, so you want him to get rated. That's what show that you, what type of nigga you is, bruh. You like, you you really like a snitch, bruh. You know what I'm saying? And I, I, I'm doing this internet shit, so I can't even say I don't do this internet shit. I guess this is what life is now. Niggas got to get on here and tell niggas about they self. But, bro, I was rocking with you, bro, but you going to try to sit there and tell like you going to roast me because I told you that that, was, that video was cap. You got mad at me talking about you don't really like niggas and all this weirdo shit. Like, bro, I ain't no, I ain't one of these, these niggas on YouTube, nigga. I ain't no buster ass nigga. Like, I was really fucking with you, like rocking with you, bro. And I'm really trying to tell you that I seen that video that you're reacting to at this moment. I seen that same video 24 hours ago, and that was cat. Man, it's not true. And you can just Google and see that puff. That you Google puff arrest is gonna talk about some UCLA shit, cause that's real news. Feel me? That actually went to court. You feel me? We're not just doing stuff just to be doing it. And that's as a as one of your subs. I was just trying to reach out in the chat like, bro, like, I feel you, like, you feel me? Puff probably do deserve that or whatever, 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 but that ain't happening. That ain't happening yet. I ain't doing it on no disrespectful. I ain't call you out your name. But you kind of, soon the first chance you get to act like a hoe, you did that. So it's like, it's up. You feel me? Nigga ain't tripping. You, you be in Vegas, whatever, you feel me? I be in Vegas, so you feel me? 
You know what I look like now? I ain't gonna suck a duck you and all that shit, nigga. I'll be outside, bruh. So, you feel me? You can always get that. Nigga, I ain't worried about that East Coast and all that. I ain't worried about none of that. I did time with East Coast and A Trace and all the shit, bruh. Denver Lane's Bloods, like, what you talking about, bruh? That's nothing. That don't, that don't make you tough. That don't make you tight, nigga. That don't, that, you feel me? But you over here giving out fake news, then when you get exposed on it, you start talking about a nigga gay lovers and shit. Like, why is you on your channel? That's another thing. Why is you gossiping about Puffy's alleged gay lovers? That's weird, bruh. If anybody gonna tell you, bruh, I'm gonna tell you, man. That's weird. Like, everybody know Puffy, whatever, they didn't hurt. I ain't speaking on no other man, whatever, whatever. But everybody know that. What you was speaking on, we know that. What do that got to do with Puff getting raided? We don't give a fuck. No one cares about whoever did what with Puff in the industry, bro. No one cares about that. You're gossiping with another grown man on international worldwide web. The international worldwide web, a grown 40-something-year-old man that got another grown man on there gossiping about Brothers, alleged lovers, male or female. Like, that's gay itself, bro. Especially when the topic is Puff ready and arrested. We trying to hear about what happened with that in relation to Keefe D. Did he turn? That's what we think when we click on your stuff. Then when we tell you, brothers, what you doing? You get mad. Bro, like a bra, like, bro, hey, I'll run your face any day. I don't know what Bosco was talking about or he was on when y'all got in there. Because you get in a ring with me, I'm going to serve you, bro. Ain't going to be none of that just playing and I'm, we just dancing around or that fake you almost dropped a nigga, slipped on some sweat because you was out there, you know what I'm saying, drenched. You drenched the fucking ring with sweat. You was so <laughs> in shape with them 30-second rounds, boy. Boy, if you don't... <laughs> If you don't get up out of here, bruh, if you do not get up out of here with that lame ass shit you be on, bruh, I really thought you was a cool nigga till I really start peeping you. And then I'm not even trying to roast or troll and you got mad. Time me out and all I said was Google it. Like that's some, that's some broad type shit. For everybody out there, bro, that's bitch mad. You feel me? If you a real one, you already know what I'm talking about though. That's some bitch made shit. Like, first of all, that's like saying a nigga snitch and you ain't seen no work. You just want to run. You don't like this nigga, so you want to run with that narrative. I don't care who, what, what pup did with no male or female, bruh. Why am I concerned with that? He, it ain't making me no bread. It might make you some bread on this bum ass content you be doing that you be capping on, you feel me? And then when niggas try to be like, bro, we some real niggas like this, we gonna keep it real. You get mad at the niggas trying to keep you a real nigga? That's not the pimping. Pimp, man, man, iron sharpen iron, man. A nigga, gonna, a real nigga gonna check his nigga like, bro, that ain't, this This will really happen. Oh, good looking, y'all was gonna be out here looking weird. You wanna keep looking weird, so bro, since you wanna be a weird nigga, bro, we can run a fade whenever, bro. I, I'm not even on here to try to throw threats or none of that. I'll be in Vegas too. We can run into each other. You feel me? It's a small fucking world, bro. And I, I'm gonna have the same energy, bro, so it's whatever with me, bro. Like, I'm still, I get active, you feel me? I'm OG, I'm O, you feel me? I ain't gonna sit here and try to stunt. Y'all can look at me and tell, I'm an OG now. You feel me? I had my run back in the day, young air, yeah, RBO Posse. Shout out, uh, ball head Rick, you know what I'm saying? Shout out, NOH Mafia, shout out, HIT, Hitman, RIP, you feel me? I did that way back, like, you feel me? Shout out the OGs of the rap, of the Frisco rap gang. Shout out the San Quins, you feel me? Shout them niggas out, bro. You feel me? The kicks of the O, you feel me? Come on, bro. Been around all that. Like, that. that's... Had my time. I'm just... I'm, I'm cooling. How the blood sound booling right now. And I'm giving you some real game right now. That's what I do. Brother or gov. We talking about money. We talking about bras. We talking about law. We talking about all this shit going on, man. Uh, with some real game behind it. Not like these... That's why I, did, I had to put some real back on YouTube. You know what I'm saying? Simple to P. I didn't agree with everything he said, but he was a real dude. Like, you know, that's why people, you know what I'm saying? 
I fucked with him. That's why a lot of people fucked with him, you know? Might not agree with who agree with whatever anybody do. We all grown people with our own ways and teach his own. Ain't nobody even here for all that. You know what I'm saying? But I just had to get back on here, man. Keefy D, we already know what happened with that. You feel me? Niggas is really the police. They want Puff to go to jail. Like, I don't give a fuck. I've been in jail. You know what I'm saying? I have prison suspended sentences in Nevada. I've been facing state prison in California. I've been in Bounty County, whatever you want to call it, plenty of times. And I was in jail out here with all... I just said I was with all them niggas, man. All the gangbanging LA niggas, all the Vegas niggas gangbanging, all the, all the motherfucking Serrano's gangbanging, the others gangbanging. I've been... Come on, bruh. I've been around all that shit. That don't make you nothing. That don't make you tough. That don't make you... Right now, what you gonna do right now, today, like... If I see you right now, what you gonna do? You feel me? Ain't nobody tripping on what, what we did. You know what I'm saying? Don't nobody care about that, bruh. So I don't think you tough because of whatever you did because you did that then. What you gonna do now? You know what I'm talking about? And, and come with some real facts, though. You feel me? I ain't got no problem with you for real. But you but you, you try to talk crazy to me because you read my comments. You didn't like what I said. And I wasn't disrespectful or trolling you. Like, I was on some real... I really fuck with you, like... You know, and, and, and I don't know if you was in your feelings or something already beforehand. You was feeling the way like the broads, you feel me? If that was what it was already beforehand when you read that, and I should have probably said, hey, I fuck with you, bro, but, but you feel me? And I just tell you, like, nah, bro, because I, I seen that video. But it's whatever. You did YouTube a good thing because I'm back on this shit now. Um, back, you know what I'm saying, with the gut videos that you love videos, I'm going to go, next time I have a little appointment with uh, this case, I'm going to just go live or something or do a video on that too, just to show y'all I'm still active out here, you know, we're going we gonna to stand, the best way to get back at somebody is in their pocket, you know what I'm saying, now revenge is sweet either way, if you got to get out the mud or get it out their blood, you know what I'm talking about, but hey, if you can get out their pockets, then you don't have to go to jail, do nothing behind it to risk going to jail. Hey, psh, psh, Gucci out here. But that's all I have to, you know what I'm saying? Let's see what Keefe D do. Let's see if he do fall and he do have a testimony because he going to have to take the stand on Puff if that's the angle we going with these bogus ass stories these niggas wishing on niggas down for. I don't care how gay a nigga is, how whatever a nigga did is, and I have how much I don't wish jail on nobody. Nobody, my worst enemy. So why am I wishing that you went to jail and the first chance I see some fake shit, I'm going to run with that and then be gossiping. But some, hey, check your temperature, man, out here, man. Niggas, niggas are about this dip, man. And maybe you getting paid. That little YouTube check you getting paid because you ain't got super hella subscribers. You cool, though. You've you been doing this shit for a minute, though. You've been, my channel, oh, but I ain't, nigga, you can count my videos, you feel me? And a lot of my videos are just music videos on here. I still don't got a lot of just content videos. So you've been doing this shit for a minute. You really ain't got that many subscribers. You so acting like you hella raw like that. You feel me? Now, I know them checks ain't, ain't, ain't that fucking beefy, bro, yet. Not saying you ain't popping. You got a little name, because I was fucking with you. So I'm not hating on you. But don't act like you just got a million subs and nigga, you just bought the fuck out of here, bro. You know what I'm saying? Or you just know everything, man. Sometimes niggas in your comments, I know it's trolls and shit, but sometimes niggas in your comments, they ain't, they ain't hating, they just telling you the facts and want to hear facts. We we supposed to be a channel with real niggas and shit. We supposed to be the, the nigga telling the street facts and what's going on from an East Coast perspective and EC meaning, you know what I'm saying, crib, you feel me? Shout out to my East Coast gang members, nigga. Not niggas like this. I know y'all niggas ain't representing this nigga. I know y'all niggas like nigga condoning a nigga falsifying a nigga's jail record, not even doing no type of homework. This nigga said Birdman was a gangster. That's what I really knew I couldn't fuck with this nigga no more. I may, I be on bias because, you know, my family from Louisiana and nigga, New Orleans is like one of my second homes. Like, nigga, I bees out there, my nigga. Like, like nigga, I kicked it, nigga. I be at Louis Armstrong Park, all that type shit, nigga. On Rampart, yeah, yeah. I really be in New Orleans, nigga. So, like, bro, what is you talking about, bro? Birdman ain't gangster? Cause he had 14, 15, he, y'all reasoning for, let's, let's talk about it. Like, I got time tonight. Birdman, according to you, cause I don't know this, I'm not pocket watching this nigga like, yo, pocket watching ass, you feel me? 
I'm really not. Bird, niggas know Birdman Stunner been doing it because I've been a hot boy fan since back in my era. You see what I'm talking about? Birdman still doing it. Got connections to Drake, Nicki Minaj, Lil Weezy. Like, Birdman and live 20 of our lives, nigga, in his little life, nigga. And he got, he been getting bread, nigga. You feel me? And you said Birdman wasn't gangster. The nigga from Uptown New Orleans, my nigga, New Orleans, nigga, New Orleans, nigga, from Uptown New Orleans, nigga, you saying Birdman's not gangster, bro? You're not gangster, nigga. For one, nigga, let's talk about it, bro. For one, and I know you're gonna do a rebuttal video, but bro, I really run face, so you talk that face shit. Hey, we could. Hey, one of my partners, John Easter, bro. He one of the TMT fighters. We can skip to Floyd Jim. No cap. None, no cap in this shit. No cap in this rap. No cap in this content, bro. That's what I do for the good gang. For, for me, I give them real shit they can use. Real news they can use with all the real views. And on this P and this game shit, I give them the right tools. You out here with this fake clickbait, man, niggas. That's why I had to bring the real back to this shit, bro. You feel me? That's, man. Why y'all get me started on this nigga, bro? Gossiping about Diddy's alleged gay lovers. Man, whatever, man. Like, subscribe. Get on your, get, the gov gang gonna be, I'll be back with the, we gonna come with the, trust me, it's coming. Deadbeat baby mamas and the court system and how they use that against you. Child support, family law, all that. We about to break it down. We gonna have these bras hot because we gonna keep it real. Y'all be keeping, y'all be using these kids as bargaining chips and pawns and that shit is low. That's low, damn dirty. You know what I'm saying? Took to the tangle. Let that man be in your, their kid's life. Don't just, don't just use the kid to try to get more resources that you don't even use on the kid. That's the deadbeat baby mama, you feel me? You better be there with the kid, with the kid, but you not letting that kid be with they, and it takes two parents. So use a deadbeat baby mama if you're doing that. Deadbeat is here, you don't even care about yourself. You're not thinking about that child. We gonna talk about that in more though, but yeah, we out of here, Gov Gang. Love y'all, man, I'll be back with more. Sorry, sorry, been a long way, you feel me? We gonna, I need y'all staying free though, man. We got a lot to talk about since we last been on. I ain't even follow up with the Nipsey stuff, you feel me? It's a lot going on, but all these other, I was letting all these other bust ass motherfuckers do their little videos and shit, but man, I see that, I see, man. R.I.P. Sin, man. That you was you was at least a, you would wait till niggas have facts. And all certain certain niggas is cool, bro. Shout out Jada Black. Shit, who else? It's a, at least y'all credible. You know what I mean? Y'all stories is you wait till shit. O'Shea, at least you be knowing that the story is an actual story before you just put it out there. Like some of these other niggas, man. I don't know, man. But whatever, bro. I've been talking y'all ear off. I hope y'all enjoyed the video, though. We'll be back with some more, man. Gov gang. West side, West side. It's big red governor, hotter than the other summer. Forty counts my gal, and yes, I'm loving her. Always shoving slugs, slugs.